Hi, my name is Bob McDonald. My colleagues and I are pleased to welcome you to this training course on how to use a software tool called Climocast to support climate change adaptation planning. Climocast is a user-friendly web application that allows people to view and retrieve data from the latest climate model projections at different scales from national to municipal. Because extensive knowledge of developing climate models isn't necessary, even non-specialists can use the data to better plan for climate change adaptation. Climocast was developed by Japan's National Institute of Environment Studies, or NICE. The course is mainly intended for policymakers in developing countries, especially those involved in the NAP, or National Adaptation Plan process. However, the course should be valuable to all climate change adaptation practitioners. The main objectives are to explain and understand the potential use of climate change scenarios in planning and decision making, the benefits of using Climocast as a climate projection viewer, the basics of the NAP process and the use of Climocast in that process, and to foster communication and knowledge exchange. This course is divided into three lessons. Lesson one deals with the basic understanding, impact assessment, and forecasting of climate change and its uncertainty. Lesson two deals with the understanding and operation of the Climocast Future Climate Projection Viewer. And finally, in lesson three, we will teach you how this tool can support the national adaptation planning process. Human activities, especially the burning of fossil fuels, have fundamentally increased the concentration of greenhouse gases in the Earth's atmosphere, warming the planet. Climate change is already happening. Its effects are irreversible on the time scale of people alive today, and it will only get worse in the coming decades. According to the Global Climate Risk Index 2021, the Asia-Pacific region is home to six of the 10 countries that were most affected by climate risks between 2000 and 2021. It also shows that Asia-Pacific is by far the most affected region with the highest number of climate-related events. Many in the region are affected by climate-related disasters, such as heavy rain, flooding, and landslides. As these climate events and climate-related disasters continue to occur, governments, local communities, and civil society in general are increasingly understanding the potential impacts of climate change and the need to take action. Assessing the impact of climate change is the first step towards adaptation. Climate change is already affecting every inhabited region globally, with human influence contributing to many observed changes in weather and climate extremes. According to this figure from the IPCC, or Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change's sixth assessment report, human influence has warmed the climate at a rate unprecedented in the last 2,000 years. According to the IPCC, this is the pattern of global impacts attributed to climate change that occurred in recent decades. Impacts are shown at a range of geographic scales. Symbols indicate categories of attributed impacts, the relative contribution of climate change to the observed impact, major or minor, and confidence in the attribution of the impact to climate change. To minimize the negative impact of climate change and adapt to the changing environment, we must first project and understand future climate change and its impact. Global warming is already happening in impacting nature and human society, but its most wide-ranging consequences are still ahead. Human-made climate change will be driven by many societal factors over the decades and centuries to come. The future development of these factors is uncertain and will be shaped by our present and future actions. It's futile to try to predict future climate change by asking what will happen in the future. Instead, more appropriate questions are what could happen in the future, and even what should happen. Given that we can shape our future, we can answer these questions using scenarios. So while the future is inherently uncertain, it's not entirely unknowable. Several future climate scenarios have been created that have proven extremely valuable. For instance, the concept of representative concentration pathways, or RCPs, describes the different levels of greenhouse gas emissions and other radiative forcing that might occur in the future. There are four pathways spanning a broad range of forcing in the year 2100, 2.6, 4.5, 
4.5, 6.0, and 8.5 watts per meter squared. But they intentionally exclude any socioeconomic narratives. In addition, over the past few years, an international team of climate scientists, economists, and energy system modelers created a range of new pathways that examine how global society, demographics, and economics might change over the next century. They are collectively known as the Shared Socioeconomic Pathways, or SSPs. These pathways look at five different ways the world might evolve in the absence of climate policy, and how different levels of climate change mitigation could be achieved when the mitigation targets of RCPs are combined with the SSPs. The SSPs are based on five narratives describing broad socioeconomic trends shaping future society. These are intended to span a range of plausible futures. They include these five shared socioeconomic pathways. Pathway one represents a world of sustainability-focused growth and equality. Pathway two envisions a middle-of-the-road world where trends broadly follow their historical patterns. Pathway three imagines a fragmented world of resurgent nationalism. Pathway four proposes a world of ever-increasing inequality. And, and finally, pathway five, a world of rapid and unconstrained growth in economic output and energy use. The global average temperature will continue to rise until at least 2050 under all emission scenarios. Unless carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gas emissions are substantially reduced in the coming decades, global temperatures are expected to exceed between 1.5 and 2 degrees Celsius during the 21st century. Under the maximum emissions scenario, SSP 5 to 8.5, Temperatures are projected to rise between 3.3 and 5.7 degrees Celsius by the end of this century. The map on the left shows how the future global average temperature will change when compared to the average between 1981 and 2000 under the SSP 126 scenario. And the map on the right shows the same under the SSP 370 scenario. It shows how much the temperature is expected to rise compared to the average temperatures recorded between 1981 and 2000. These maps clearly show that the SSP 370 scenario, with higher emissions, is redder as it approaches 2100, meaning the temperatures have increased more. These climate projections are based on a combination of the emission scenarios described above and climate models. A climate model is a computer program that attempts to reproduce a simulated Earth by formulating phenomena in the atmosphere and oceans in accordance with physical laws. Supercomputers are used for the climate modeling due to the enormous amount of computation required. There are several types of climate models developed by various researchers in different countries, such as the Global Climate Model, or GCM, which simulates the climate of the entire planet, and the Regional Climate Model, or RCM, which simulates the climate of a region. For example, a climate model called MIDOK-6 was developed jointly by the University of Tokyo, NICE, and the Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology, or JAMSTEC. This model has been used to study the reproducibility and future changes of climate, as well as monsoon and rainy season fronts over Asia, including Japan. By the way, MIROC stands for the Model for Interdisciplinary Research on Climate. On the other hand, a climate model called MRI-CGCM3, developed by the Meteorological Research Institute, or MRI in Japan, combines calculations for the atmosphere and the oceans. The MRI-CGCM3 model is used to study the El Niño phenomenon, the Kuroshio current, and other oceanic phenomena. MRI-CGCM stands for Meteorological Research Institute, coupled general circulation model. Climocast, which we'll explain in more detail in lesson two, will allow you to compare and analyze the future climate projections of 10 climate models developed by researchers from around the world. So why more than one climate model? Can't we choose just one? Climate models simulate various weather phenomena, such as cloud formation and rainfall. However, because different models simulate these phenomena differently, the results they predict will be different. In addition, each climate model has its own uncertainty range for predicted results. Therefore, it's advisable to use a range of future projections from multiple models and consider these model characteristics and uncertainties when making policy decisions. For example, in future climate simulations, there are three types of uncertainties. Uncertainty of emission scenarios come about because scenarios for greenhouse gas concentrations and air pollution emissions will differ significantly depending on the type of socioeconomy we build in the future. Where climate model uncertainty arises because there are parts of the climate change process 
that are currently not well understood by science. And finally, internal variability uncertainty is due to climate-related fluctuations. El Nino is a good example. These kinds of climate information are powerful tools to aid in avoiding or countering the effects of climate change. At the same time, it's very important to be mindful that there are always different levels of uncertainty. And this brings us to the end of this video lesson. We developed a basic understanding of climate change, impact assessment of climate change, and climate change forecasting and its uncertainty. We explored important future climate scenarios developed by the IPCC and other international scientists, including representative concentration pathways, or RCPs, and shared socioeconomic pathways, or SSPs. Now let us move on to the next lesson, where Professor Masutomi will teach us how to use Climocast.